Hello, I'm Matt and I'm at Embedded World 2025 here at Nordic Semiconductors. Hello, how are you doing? Hi Matt, uh, I'm doing fine. What do you have for us today? I see there is some music going on. Yes, uh, we have some music going on. What we're showing here is uh, AuraCast. Uh, for those who might be listening, AuraCast is the brand name for the broadcasting features in Bluetooth Low Energy Audio. Uh, what we're showing here is we actually have uh, a phone that natively, natively supports AuraCast. That's what we've been waiting for for years now. Uh -huh. So I, I had Bluetooth LE Audio demos for years, but this is the first one where I actually went to the store, bought a phone that supports it. Uh, what we're showing is I have uh, one broadcaster that's connected to this wonderful player, uh, playing non-copyrighted music, don't sue me, um, <laughs> from the PC. And then from the phone, we can actually uh, look at a broadcast. So what we've done now is we've uh, plugged in our demo direct into the camera so your viewers should actually be able to hear it. At the moment, I've plugged it in to listen to uh, this broadcaster. So if we look at it, it should be playing music now. Mm -hmm. And we have a demo here that acts like a high priority interrupt. So the music will stop and you actually hear me through this development kit now instead of actually hearing the music again. again. So if I'm going to say something, I'm going to use it basically as a this microphone in some ways. Uh, hopefully that's come across. Is that coming across okay? Uh, we've got thumbs up in there, yeah. so that's that's impressive. So, so basically, yes, the, the use case for this that you can easily imagine is, let's say you've traveled here, uh, you're sitting at the at the airport, you're waiting for your gate, when you actually tune into high priority broadcast, which is information for your gate. Oh, so the moment you can select me as a customer, and then only I gonna be able to hear this on my device. Yes, and you don't have to hear all the information for all the other gates. Your podcast is gonna be stopped. Uh huh. And once uh, once the information for your gate comes through, that displays, and then your music goes back on. Okay, so I can I can see that from the industrial standpoint, and use cases like maybe um, uh, train stations or airports. Yeah. Do you have any plans to introduce that into a home space? Yes, uh, we actually like. Uh, Around the corner, we actually have a demo. Like one of the very first applications we saw a customer do was actually uh, it was a station that basically transmits audio from a television to a person sitting there. Because since you can have several broadcasts at the same time, you can do things like watch the same movie in Spanish and in English on the same TV. And that, providing the user is going to be using headphones or something yes. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so there's lots of opportunities just using broadcast, and that's beside all the benefits you get from using LE Audio, which is about half the power consumption and better audio quality. So, what, uh, in terms of quality of that broadcast, what are we talking about? What, what kind of definition we were talking so, about? Uh, people like to like to talk about bit rates. Uh, I like to talk about perceived audio quality okay. because they 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 done some tests where they checked. Uh, you had people uh, decide on how good do you think this audio is. So they uh, let them listen to uh, uncompressed audio yep. to, and then to different compressions to figure yes. out which one to use in the end. Uh, the, uh, S so the SBC is the Bluetooth Classic standard yep. that's using. The LC3 is the codec that we're using for Bluetooth Low Energy. Yeah, okay. And uh, on a rating from 0 to 5, it got like a 4.8 six or something so essentially if i've got bluetooth headphones and this is my source uh, of the audio i'll basically i won't be able to tell the difference it's at this point very hard to distinguish from uncompressed audio even for audio files really so, so the main thing that you because even the uncompressed audio got like a 4.8 so most people like yeah. some people even thought that was compressed yeah that uh, is that is super interesting and uh is that this is battery powered, right? It looks really nice. And what is the power consumption on this? Because like this is the battery on top of it, right? Yeah. So uh, the, actually, a, a lot of this here is the LEDs. Um, <laughs> it's so, always the lights. Yeah. <laughs> but they, they look pretty. No, but in general, it, it, it's about half of what you have in Bluetooth Classic. Mm -hmm. And this is in active mode. Uh, the, another really big benefit that nobody talks about for Bluetooth Classic is if you're not actively listening, in Bluetooth Classic, you're still connected and consuming close to the same. Yes, correct. In standard Bluetooth, uh, in Bluetooth LE Audio, 
you have like weeks of standby time, like about an order of magnitude yeah. more. Because uh, if you don't use the stream, you have a normal Bluetooth LE connection, and that, mm -hmm. as you know, is like very. And very then powerful. switch over to the active streaming connection yes. when you actually stream. Yeah, and and now. One of the things that people, I think, dislike about the Bluetooth, it's the fact of interconnecting different devices and swapping and going to men menus. How easy it is and how many different connections can you maintain at the same time? Uh, that will depend on the phone and the headphones that you're using. Uh, what, what we can do here is, so what, one of the high quality stream options would be like 192 kilobytes per second. You can broadcast several stereo streams with the same kit on the, at the same time. Wow. So you, you, you very rarely run into processing power or like radio options because it is, the whole codec is built in a way that uses the radio less so you don't actually run into bottlenecks at the radio side. So it's that, that limit's gonna power. be on the um, end devices, not on your device then, really? Yeah, and even there it shouldn't really be because like we, we have so much extra processing power compared to when Bluetooth Classic was introduced, it was like 20 years ago. And there the bottleneck was more the radio, and now well, it was more positive power, and now that's abundant. Okay, and, and this, is, this is a year-old phone. Now, you said that your phone support, uh, supports that broadcast type. When are we going to see devices on the markets having that as an industry standard? Well, I just bought this one, so it, it, it's literally... What phone is this, actually? It. It's a Samsung S24, I think. Uh huh. Uh, FE, so it's, it's even the cheap version, <laughs> uh, but they all support it. I think my, my newest Google Pixel phone supports it. Uh, I don't know the full list, uh, but there's lots of phones that support it already, and even the Aura cast already. All right, and looking at 2025, the year just started, so there's a strong competition out there. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your focus for this year? Uh, for Bluetooth in general or for us? So, so the most interesting thing for us actually isn't that audio related. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's our 54L15 series, which is basically the successor of a most selling product. Significantly lower power consumption, very similar uh, set of, what do you say? Uh, it does say very similar things uh, with much lower power consumption. I think you're gonna talk to Robin later to have a look at that uh, in more detail. But uh, for audio, the really exciting thing is that it now actually arrived in most of the new phones that you can buy. So the, this whole barrier of you also need to support classic audio is uh, disappearing uh, slowly. So we're going to see Bluetooth LE audio picking up very, very fast now. Awesome. Now, I can't resist of trying this. Could we punch up the audio again for the board? Because I am going to do a sign off on this. That's all. What do I have to do to do? Press the middle button. Press, Press the middle button, button. okay. Uh, I am tempted to do a sign, a sign off on this device. So basically, I've been here at Nordic Semiconductors with Ben talking about awesome sound devices that you're going to have on your phones really, really soon. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Thank you so much. Thank you.